Namaste, Cappies. You have waited your turn for this beautiful reading in all directions in time and space. So here we are with your reading. Thank you for your patience. We have the high priestess, which is crowning your whole reading. Now, if this is a man, then let's say the high priest. You are being called from the universe to basically transform and transmute and use your alchemical powers because guess what? Here lately, you've not been trusting your intuition. You've been second guessing yourself, okay? So there's a situation that's near and dear to you that you need to reflect on very carefully before you make or take any actions towards that situation. And there are going to be insights that are going to come through. So the universe is asking you to do some deep meditation. And it looks like some studying as well. Maybe you need to study the occult. Also, you need to maybe uh, tap into some planetary magic. Okay. But whatever the case is, you can no longer operate the way that you used to. Because the situation that you are dealing with at this very moment is calling for you to do something different on a high dimensional level, okay? Because this situation right now is low vibrational and you're gonna have to raise the vibration of it through your aura, okay? And so some of that is gonna have to call for you to do a little magic. I mean, when I'm, I'm, I'm not here to judge you, but I'm just telling you what's coming to me from the ethers. I mean, hey. Some of you are already into it. Some of you already do magic. So this card is not coming as a surprise to you. Okay. And as you see, the high priestess has the spell book that's open with universal knowledge. Use that dark matter and transfer it into the light to manifest whatever it is that you want to bring into the sphere of existence. But Capricorn. The situation that is close to you, I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, I am getting the pull so heavy that you've already tried everything on a 3D to make it work or to manifest your ideal of what you want from this situation. And guess what? Nothing that you have been doing has panned out because you have not been doing the right thing because you've been second guessing yourself. So work your magic. Because you are magic happy. All right. Next to this card, you have the 10 of winter. All right. So there's going to be a resolution to difficulties. A weight lifted off of your shoulders and the end of addiction or codependency. So for some of you, you've been struggling with alcohol, sexual addiction, and also some form of codependency or drug. Okay, take what resonates. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to deliver a message. But it looks like you're coming out of it. You no longer are needing alcohol in order to solve or resolve your problems because guess what? You're tapping into your alchemical powers as the high priest or high priestess. And you already know that you can turn anything that you want into a reality. All you have to do is tap in, okay? Next, you have the king of winter. Hmm. All right, some of you are going to be public speaking. Some of you are already public speakers or someone that's in a professional image or public figure. You have a lot of relationships that are around you that you got to force a grin. You have to grin and bear it is what I'm hearing from source energy right now. You have to force a fake smile. And I think it's work-related. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that you are in the line of business and the line of work that you have to be happy all the time, even when you're not, okay? And so the thing is, you're very knowledgeable. The situation is calling you to have this aloofness is very necessary. Some of you may be judges. Some of you may be police officers. And it would be a dangerous thing to be overly emotional. Okay. All right. You have peaceful resolution. 
All right. You got the rainbow there, which is re it represents uh, promise. It represents abundance. It represents the seven rays, seven rays of your chakra, everything been in alignment. So some of you are on a spiritual journey and uh, you have struggled with a certain situation. Maybe it's a personal one, romance related. Some of it may be spiritual related, like with a church or with a spiritual organization or group that you are connected with. And there were some issues that were going on. Well, guess what? The universe is stepping in and telling you, guess what? are resolved. All those things that you were once dealing with are now going to fade away because the universe is coming in to give you a resolution. Some of you have been dealing with someone that has been lying to you, cheating on you, someone that's very manipulative, deceitful. And it doesn't come as a surprise to you because you've been in hiding. Okay. You've been in isolation. You've been keeping it from your friends and family that this person hurt you. The hermit goes in, okay? And as you can see, there's five cups. Three are knocked over, two that are behind the hermit. You've been so hurt that you're not even accepting any offers that are coming in right now because you're closed off. That's the reason why you're standing away from the two cups that are behind you. You're so busy, focused on the three cups that spilled in front of you, okay? Move out of this energy, Cappies, because guess what? You see that river? That river represents the stream and the river of life. Everything is a constant flow. So you have to flow with the universe and also know that everything happens for a reason. All right. You have the seven of pentacles. Now this is the best card ever. It's a very positive card to have cappies. And here's the reason why. All right. If you look, this person has really put in dubious efforts to build up their wealth. So this is telling you that whatever you invest in finances, whether it's stocks and bonds, it's going to yield very beautiful fruit for you. And in relationship to a uh, relationship, okay, if, if you are in a relationship with someone or if someone is coming in that you're now dealing with, with this new energy, it's saying don't get bent out of shape if they do not approach things very fast, okay? This is very slow energy, but it's consistent and it's trustworthy. If you ever want to know how someone feels about you and you get this card that's saying that they care about you, but they allow their feelings to grow over a period of time. They don't rush in. Only fools rush in, okay? All right, so this is... You're reading for the mid-month of February the 15th through March the 1st. If you would like to have an extended reading, you can do so for $11.11 .11 for the extended version and get more details of what's coming in for you. And it is a good karma. To like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, give a gift from the Amazon gift registry. It's also listed in the description box. I now wrap you in my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And so it is, everyone. Namaste.